We are playing PGA Tour 2K21 today, everybody. I'm going to begin my PGA Tour career. I cannot wait. I've been enjoying the game so far. I wanted to give this a shot and see what everybody thought here on the channel. And I waited to start career mode until I was ready to play with everybody live. So we have my player here. If he ever wants to show up or if it doesn't show up on this menu, then I'll just uh, take care of that. So here we have my character. This is Tim Kane. Is he going to show up today or is this, again, not the menu? I don't even know what I'm doing. But I finally have some currency here to start buying some cosmetics and whatnot. I just kept him with the, uh, the basic stuff here. If it ever... I guess it ain't going to show up. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I do have the ability now to buy some equipment. So let's see what I can do with my 1275. I kind of wanted to buy the cowboy hat. But I unlocked another hat this round that I think I'd rather have. Yes, the country cap. Oh, these are cheap. I can pull these off, no problem. I kind of like this one. Purchase and equip. Where is my character, though? What's going on, Mike? I don't have a lot of the cosmetics unlocked yet. I've only played a handful of rounds. Looks like I've unlocked these ones here. Oh, I like that one. I think we're going to go with that. We're not even going to go with the solid color. I think we want ooh, this sweater, this sweater. I like this sweater. Let's purchase and equip. Is my character supposed to show up here because he's nowhere to be found? One sec, I want to maybe restart the game or something and see if I can fix that. What's going on, Wheels and Zackler and Matt? How y'all doing? All right, let me just refire this up again. I don't know. My guy just disappeared. He's nowhere to be seen. So we'll try to get that fixed. Uh, yeah, you can create courses in this game, and I definitely would like to create a course. I'll check it out, and I'm sure if I cook something up, it'll be quite the experience. Might be a nine hole course. 18 sounds kind of daunting, honestly. But yeah, there's uh, I think uh, the course designer and stuff like that has been a really big deal for the golf club games that preceded this year's game. And they've been making the golf club games for I think five years or so. I played the very first one and that's been my only sim golf game since. I've played everybody's golf and golf story. Golf games are pretty sweet, even though I've never played a real round of golf in my life. I'd like to, but I've never had a uh, had the chance. Me as a very serious golfer IRL finds it very entertaining watching a person who's never played golf play a golf video game. I'm sure you'll see some uh, a few mistakes here. Like I don't understand a lot of the terminology that well or know like what clubs to use in certain scenarios. So I have a lot of like the the helpers on. But uh, as I get more comfortable, I'd like to make the game more challenging. Kane playing a golf game is the most relaxing thing of all time. We'll see for how long that's the case. Alright, let's see if my guy shows up now. There he is! He's here! Look at that sweater! Look at the sweater! Now we just got to get some matching pants. He's here. I don't think I've unlocked any pants, though. Can I get those? Yes. Oh, what goes the best with it? That blue is like too light a shade. It's so close to being perfect. Ooh. Yep. 
Yup, that's the one right there. Any videos for the second channel today? Yeah, uh, Super Mega Baseball will be going up. Nine Iron is my club of choice. That's good for backspin on chips I find. Hey, slow down. I don't even know how to apply backspin in this game. What's up, Kane? Thanks for all the entertainment. Been watching since middle school, and I just moved into my college room. So crazy to me. Man, that's a long time. Appreciate the love, Jamie. Ah. <clears throat> All right, let's get some new shoes here. I'm not feeling the green any longer. I can't even read that. Blue on green. The Dunner. Thank you for becoming a member. You got that one-year badge. Love it. All right, what are we going here for the shoes? These might work. Kinda. I kind of want to go maybe a solid. Yup. Wow. I got like all the best cosmetics right away. What is there to work towards? These ones don't even get that expensive, honestly. And I could buy them right now if I wanted to. These look like uh, cleats you'd see in Madden. I am really liking the look here. We got accessories. Casual eyewear. We're getting all decked out here. Oh my. I'm not a big fan of the lens shape, necessarily. That's a bit better. This is the this is exactly the dress code when you play IRL. If I ever go golfing. I gotta go all out. I don't know, where do I find stuff like this? Because if if you just told me like, go find these clothes in the next hour, I'd probably just go to Goodwill. I feel it'd be my best bet. We'll skip the watch for now, I'm wearing long sleeves. I think we're ready to go. I think we are ready to play some golf, everybody. I love the look of my player here. We can go to my golf bag. I suppose I could also take a look at upgrading or uh, finding different clubs to use. This one looks pretty cool. Distance down, forgiveness up. Distance control is a lot further down. Um, this one here. Ooh, the forgiveness. No, I need forgiveness right now. That one's pretty decent. This one looks futuristic. I kind of like this one. I hope I can afford it. Oh, it's 500? I'll purchase that one. Got me a new driver. Selecting loft. Drivers and wedges allow you to choose a loft for your club. While attributes do not change between lofts, it does affect carry distance, spin, and trajectory height. Added carry and spin also means a higher trajectory, which means the wind has a higher impact on your shots. Let's go, golf baby. We'll hit the course here pretty soon. So, huh. I don't know what degree I want. I'm not sure what the right answer is. So, let's say I just want... I don't really care about a lot of loft on my driver. So does that mean I would want the 12 degree or the 9 degree? Yep, I'm playing this on Switch. Golf is one of my least favorite sports, but you could, uh... Oh, a phone book, turn a phone book into an interesting sports franchise. Thank you, Pee Wee. Alright. We go with the nine degree driver. That's my only customized club to this point. I can't afford much else, all right? I'm just getting started here. But I think I'm ready to start my golf journey here in the PGA Tour career mode. Thank you all for being here as we go to Q School. What does Q stand for? 
Join a field of aspiring amateur players set to compete at the final stage of the Corn Ferry Tour Qualifying Tournament. That's a mouthful. In hopes of securing Corn Ferry Tour status. Okay. Choose the settings for upcoming Q School season. I think I should just go normal here. I haven't... I'm just going to keep it there. Qualifying school. Oh, I got it. So we're going to TPC Louisiana. 18 holes, 550 points on the line, apparently. You can have sponsor contracts, but I'm not in the PGA Tour yet to take advantage of those. I have some more songs, by the way. I have some more golf music. Look at my guy right there. The flop shot causes the ball to take a very high arc trajectory. Yeah, I don't usually want that. Is there a demo? I don't believe there's a demo for this game. I could be wrong. Let's see, I also have this one. I thought this one fit really well. Welcome to... What is this called again? The Corn on the Cob Invitational? The Corn Ferry Tour? Country Club? It's a beautiful day here in Louisiana. Where are we? Baton Rouge? I don't know. But it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky. A little bird just landed near me. It's a great day for some golf. Thank you for being here. Starting here at hole number one, we have a par four. About 400 yards. Nothing too outrageous. Just a four mile per hour breeze. Let's go! First drive of the career. Sent right down the fairway. Beautiful. Centered. Pretty much. So far, so good. I might as well retire now. So we got a goofy green over here. We have uh, a little slope action here. I really don't want to land over there and have it roll down here and have some weird uphill uh, action. So I kind of want to aim a little bit beyond. I know that the wind is going to play a factor. It's all about playing the wind. I kind of would rather land over here, because I don't want a whole lot of rolling. So what if I go right there? Kind of a, a loopy shot over there. And we don't get much roll. And we're shooting for birdie here on the very first hole. A little bit of movement to account for here. I do have the slope grid turned on. This one's kind of weird. I'm pretty comfortable with this spot though. And here we are. No, no, no. I wanted to start out with a birdie so bad, but that, that slope confused me. It's okay. We open with a par. Will this become a YouTube series? I don't know. I'm waiting to see how it does. I have never brought golf to the channel, period. So, hard to say. But so far, I'm having a really fun time playing the game. And I really dig this music. Is the music at a good quality? Got a six mile per hour wind here, so we'll aim a little bit left. 
Did not get all of that one. 94 power, but we are right down the fairway. Ignoring the sandbox on our left. Hit the regulation, or the fairway and regulation. Oh, I did that. 10 XP. Hold X for putt preview. I actually turned the putt previewing off because it would give me more XP. I like that one. Not bad. Now I have the shot timing turned off as well, so it's a bit easier for me to aim my shot. The timing, like, I was testing it out just like on the driving range or whatever. And I could not understand what it was trying to uh, get me to do. And I would purposely try to make the shot go too slow or too fast. And it wasn't like, it wasn't very consistent. So I bumped up the difficulty so the right stick, the, um, the aiming, that vertical white bar on the right side there, that's tougher. But I don't have to worry about my downswing timing as we nail our first birdie. Yeah, I thought putt preview would be a little unnecessary. I mean, Forts is a game too that has a lot of helpers and you can turn those off and get a lot more XP when you're playing. So they have like the rewind feature, I always turn that off. And um, just figure out, you know, the balance between challenge and uh, my skill level, I guess. But we're shooting at negative one so far, two holes in. I like this course so far. Was playing San Antonio earlier, and that one just has some really strange greens, and if you're not ready for uh, some of the hills there at weird spots on the course, then you're gonna be chasing the ball all over the place. But not bad there. Got a couple weird slopes on this one. This one is uh, not one that I typically do well with. Yeah, very close. So we missed the birdie there. But we nail the par. Kano Mackelson doing his thing on the green. Thank you, DJ South. Love it. You should definitely play some forts on the channel. Yeah, I mean, I love uh, the Horizon games especially, and I have made Forza content in the past. I know that uh, there isn't like a, a new one right now, but uh, I've been itching to play those games. I did not play a ton of the second or third Horizons, and I never even got the fourth one because I didn't play enough of the, the previous ones. The first... Forza Horizon game is one of my favorite. I think it's my favorite racing game of all time. It was such a good game. That's not bad, but we're drifting a little to the right. And that one is going to take a journey to the other side of the green. Oh my, please stop. Slow down. This is for Birdie. About 45 feet. All right, so we're definitely going to have to aim a lot this way. No idea how to really judge these ones here. Just hopefully I don't overshoot it badly if I miss. That looks kind of good. That looks real good. Oh my! Are you kidding me? I don't even get a friendly putt afterwards. This is 14 feet. This is kind of tough too. Ooh. Oh no. I was like this close to a birdie and now I'm going to bogey. I'm tilted. I have the putt line turned off. Not sure if you need it, but the putting and approach camera are vital. Oh yeah, if I ever stop playing with the grid, which I might. It would definitely clean up the visuals too. Part of the sim experience is having a clean HUD. That's why I turn a lot of the stuff on Madden off. The HUD on Madden's actually a little too stressful. But 
but nothing too difficult so far. I mean, this is a pretty smooth round. This seems like a good beginner's course for this game. Ooh, that's a little strong. I do gotta get a little bit better about getting closer to the pin. So my birdie attempts aren't so weird. What is this music? This is called Whispering Stream from the YouTube Audio Library. Thirty-three foot putt for birdie. We got a shot here, everybody. Down it goes. Let's go. Second birdie of the round. Hold down L1 or whatever it is for the switch and move the L and R all the way down. I'll have to check that out. Hey, John. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. What a beautiful putt. We're still tied for 16th, though. I feel like I'm having a pretty good round, but I have nothing on uh, those guys who I think are averaging... Uh, yeah, they got a birdie every round. Every hole. I also wanted to mess around a bit more with, like, this shot modifier. I know, like, if I'm ever in the trees. Like, this is super helpful. Have not been in the woods quite yet. And this one has a minor effect on the trajectory. I want a lower trajectory here as I'm going into the wind. Isn't that a good idea? Not a bad swing right there. Beautiful high lofting shot. Softly landing on the green. About 269 yards. A nice drive here for Tim Kane as he looks to reach the green now. Got to battle a little bit of wind. Slight hook here to the left. But I think we can live with that one. This game looks amazing. It's a lot of fun. And if you're talking about the visuals at all, know that this is the Switch version and this is basically the worst the game is going to look. It's a little bit uglier in the handheld mode, I've noticed. But uh, here docked, I mean, the trees aren't super nice or anything. But it's a great game of golf. Great. Very close on that one. How am I going to catch up? That's okay, we're still minus one right now. We're one under. How is the game audio, by the way? Ooh, only 90% power. Did not get all of that one. Kane for the birdie punt. Intercepted by the wind. Oh man, we haven't had that happen too badly yet. Although I don't think the wind is going to affect my putting game too much. It's everything before that. It's good. Can you hear the clubs? Perfect. Nice. Thank you, guys. Explain what does uh, minus one under mean. So, uh, it's just relative to what is par. So, to this point, you should have, you know, I don't know how many strokes exactly, but each hole has three to five strokes. That would be considered par, which is the reasonable amount of strokes it should take to to reach the hole. And a minus one. So I have used one less stroke than uh, those holes are really worth. You don't want to be positive. That means you're over par. Uh, you score negative in golf. Sometimes. I mean, sometimes you score negative. When I started playing the game, on the default settings and everything, uh, it was positive 30. 
This one's a little bit different. Got some wind here. I don't want it to bounce short. I got the wind to carry me here, so I think I can get away with this one. Got a pretty good swing. We have not had to use the sand wedge yet to this point, and I don't think we're going to start now. But I'm actually on the fringe. The light rough. You definitely want to do your best to avoid the dark green stuff because if you look in the upper right hand corner That's basically like what percentage of power are you really getting on your shots? So uh, as soon as you get to the the dark green you're in the 60s and 70s and you're gonna get a lot less distance This stuff isn't too bad That'll work Kind of wanted a bit more of a roll there. But another long range birdie try here. Thirty one feet's kind of far. I need a first down right here, basically. Ooh, a little bit to the right. There we go. So, having a decent round at this point. I'm happy with the minus two. Do I actually follow real life golf? No, but I'm really interested in starting to uh, to do that. That's pretty solid right there. I wonder if I should have used a different club for that one. I haven't been changing my clubs at all. Sometimes I uh, want a little extra power there. Could have used it because I'm still just a mile away here for this putt. There's no way I sink this. Right? I'm not even sure how far I need to compensate here for the slope. Uh, at least I'm not going to be too far away. Been watching since Madden 12, play some Fall Guys. I have played a little bit of Fall Guys. There we go. So another par. Minus two on the front nine. But that's only good for uh, tied 11th. I'm not sure what I have to get here to qualify and move on. Play Fantasy Golf, it's fun. I have played a little bit of Fantasy Golf. I know that's uh, gotten a lot more popular over the years. I have another song I could play too. I was just looking for all the calm music in the audio library. I gotta be top 50? Okay, so go so far we're doing a good job. I like that. That works. All right, another birdie putt. This one's only 13 feet. We do not have uh, a lot of slope to account for. I really don't want to miss this one. Let's aim one uh, ball to the right. I'm not sure what the measurements are. Oh, it was so close. I'm just gonna keep getting pars. Yeah, I think the previous song was better. There's also this one. But yeah, Whispering Stream, man. This was this is the song right here. Ooh, this one's long range here. 573 feet. I like that one. He kind of had an awkward uh, follow through there because I think my timing was a little bit weird on my backswing or my downswing. It just doesn't matter because I turned that setting off to where it's not going to penalize me. 
All right, let's not hit this giant tree in the middle of the fairway for some reason. We'll avoid the large tree. All right, now we're going for eagle. Uh-oh. I have seen this happen a couple times, so this is actually the worst I've seen it. The whole course is not loading the texture. I got this, don't worry. Come on. We're back. Just a little visual bug. Hopefully that gets ironed out here pretty soon. I'm not sure if that's Switch exclusive, the, uh, the bug there. But, uh... I imagine I'll be able to fix that. Ah. Maybe should have taken more time to look at that one. Just another short par attempt. I see an alligator. Isn't that like a hazard? Like, do they have to... To clear out the gator before we continue? Or is it just part of the experience? Another pretty good drive there, 267 feet or yards. Yeah, this one's gonna be iffy because my power is gonna come up short. Let's go to my three. Actually, gonna switch up the club here. Now I have to also account for the minus six mile per hour wind. I'm not sure, you know, how to judge the wind that well in this game yet, but that feels like a pretty good shot. Drifting left. Maybe that wind had more of an effect than I expected. Like six miles an hour doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean, golf balls. I'm not really sure how to judge like the carry in the air for a golf ball wind all right this is pretty fast here for some reason this seems right how's that one nope very close though I keep thinking I might be overcompensating on some of these putts when actually I'm just a little bit under where I need to be it's a very light ball. Alligators aren't that aggressive. I, uh... I wouldn't know. But I know that... If the alligator wanted to be aggressive... Would not be a good day. Is it like Madden Wind? Where 13 miles an hour is blowing the ball out of the stadium on kickoffs? I know that it's in there, you know, just so it's more challenging. I mean, kicking is so easy in Madden and always has been. Like, the wind at least adds a bit of difficulty. But as someone who just wants to see things play out sim, like, just make the actual kicking hard and stop putting these heavy winds into the stadium. Fifteen footer for birdie. Ah, uh, just a little bit. If we could just like make the the hole a little bit larger. Oh boy, that's bad. I might have a shot. I rushed that one, so I might bogey my first hole here of the day. Don't rush your putts. Oh my, a double's coming up. I don't like this hole. Hole thirteen. We're never coming back. Ouch. Kane, rebuild your new hometown team, the Rangers. That team needs it. That team is bad. The only thing worth watching on the Rangers right now is Lance Lane, and he pitched last night. Alright, we gotta come back with something better after that ugly double, and that one is gonna be 
Oh boy, this is where the course uh, ramps up in difficulty, I guess. I don't think, yeah, there was some wind there. Okay, 9 mile per hour wind. I gotta treat it like it's Madden after seeing that. Now I'm going against the wind here, so how does this work? Hmm. I thought it would push it more towards the the pin. And this is just a save par here. Uh-oh. I'm even right now, and I'm not sure I'm going to stay there. 38% power and another bad judgment on the, the putt. We're starting to slump. Alright, another bogey. That's two in a row. We gotta fix that. Oh, I guess I bogeyed four. I don't even remember that. So three of them I've had issues with here. I gotta be top uh, 50. I'm tied for 56th right now. So, you know, pars aren't good enough is what I'm gathering from this. I'm on normal difficulty too. I thought, you know, shooting about even here would be uh, fine, and maybe it will be, but it's pretty close to out of the money or whatever here. Maybe a little strong on that one, 97 power, but it's going to play just fine. Bring back Adam Kane. Now, what would that accomplish? He's on the Vikings now, by the way. So we ended up quite a ways away for this one. I gotta at least get back even, but how am I gonna do it if I keep getting myself putts like this? This one's fast. Let's go over here. Come on. Nope. I had to go even more. A lot more. Alright, we'll at least par this one and break the bogey streak. But my goal is at least to go even here. I got a 4, 3, and a 5 left. I'd like to be one under at least two. I'm tied for 56 right now and that's not going to cut it. Into 8 mile an hour wind. Not great. So, okay. Going into 8 mile an hour wind, my projected distance is only 266 yards. I'd like to see one with no wind, just to be like, okay. That helped me get me an idea of what those are, are worth. The wind, anyway. But that really cut my distance down, I feel. All right, we have to go 82 now. Again, trying to account for the wind. Is that good? Not bad. We're still a ways away with a bad roll. How did that happen? How do we end up over here? It speeds up there at the end. I'm not even sure what to do with this one because it's pretty flat for a while and then it speeds up late. If I miss, we're probably drifting uh, at about 2 o'clock here. Come on. It speeds up here. And... Uh, I kind of played that decent though. And we'll just get another par. Yeah, why are we talking about baseball right now? We are in the wonderful world of golf at the moment. Hole 17 challenge. What do you got for me? Hit the green and the regulation on hole 17. All right. Just a par three. Would love something to get me back to even here. Going into the wind once more. That seems pretty good. Definitely much, much better. That's makeable. 
10 XP, and this is so flat. It finally gave me a nice hole. And we're back to even. That should take us, you know, into qualifying range too. Like, it, at one over, I was like tied 56. Now I'm tied 42. So, don't bogey this hole. Problem is, we got a 5 here, and there's some room, there's a... Uh, some chances to screw this up. Did not get all of that. 95% power. Main thing here is avoid the water. That went 294. That's with the wind at my back. So into the wind was like 260. So, 6 mile per hour wind, that's like a 15 yard difference, in or out. Does that check out? And a couple yards per mile per hour. Uh, can we set up for another birdie, potentially? I gotta avoid this, uh this bunker while we're at it too hopefully not my best swing there in terms of accuracy but we will avoid the bunker and end up on the green at least there are no uh, fans in uh, the switch version by the way there are fans on uh, the console version so you may notice the atmosphere being a little bit different but hey this is more realistic like, the Switch is the most realistic version when you think about it like that. This one's weird. I think I just want to go right down the middle and see what happens. We start right. We come back left. And that ball's gonna miss. Alright. Just can't miss this. We gotta go uphill a little bit. And that is the round, everybody. That is, uh, we shot par, 72. And that was fun. Started pretty strong. But tied 42, could have been a lot better. And that was, I think, the only round for this. So now level 7. Ooh, I can go to shorts now? I kind of like what I got, though. Yeah, the swing timing, um, I thought was a, a good feature. I just, I thought maybe it was bugged. I don't know if it is or not. I mean, there is going to be a learning curve, but I was practicing and just swing after swing and not nothing would come up perfect or even close. I would uh, calibrate my swing and do what the game says you have to do, but it's like everything would either be a little too fast or really slow. And I couldn't really find that middle ground. It didn't make any sense to me. I would try to do specifically like as fast as I could without ripping the stick off. And it would still come off just like fairly fast. So it felt to me like it's a little bit bugged. I know a lot of people have been uh, having some issues with that feature. So I turned it off. Q School Final. Fernando Garcia shot a minus seven. So not the best placement. But we got promotion. Tim Kane has ended the season on a high note, having earned a promotion to Corn Ferry Tour. I'm ecstatic with this result, Tim said when asked how they feel. Like, literally, I shot, I played one full round with the swing timing on, and I could not hit the fairway. I think I hit the fairways like 18, 20%. I was just living in the woods. And it's hard to shoot out of the woods in this game. Alright, we'll stay on normal difficulty for now until I uh, think it's time to step it up. 
But here we are at TPC Deer Run. I have not played this course yet, so it should be fun. Yep, the next uh, um, Broncos vid will be tomorrow. Um, I'll be working on Callus Spill probably later today. Congrats on reaching the tour. Thank you, Matt. Doing my best here. I had a tough time on this course. Yeah, that first one, there wasn't a lot to challenge. Like, the bunkers were only going to be a factor if you really, really missed. Some courses are a bit tougher. And sometimes if you uh, get an unlucky roll on a certain part of the green, you're going to be uh, in really big trouble. Uh, yeah, I chose Switch so I can play it anywhere. I mean, being able to play handheld is a big uh, draw for me. So if I had bought this on PlayStation, I probably wouldn't have as much time with it. It looked better right now, but I want to be able to play for fun too. It didn't seem to slow me down too bad. Ooh. Did not go in the bunker at all in the previous round, and now immediately. Here we are. First time breaking out the sand wedge. Now this is where it gets a lot tougher because my uh, my shot power, I forget what that is. Is that called the lie? 84% to 92%. Well, what's 84 to 92% are right here in this thing? So I don't think I necessarily want to try just going close to the pin. There's not enough wind to help either. So I think I need to go over here. There's a little slope action though. Like you want to end on like the back portion of this green. This one stinks when you have to approach it like this. Let's see how that goes. Oh my. Didn't matter. Destined to be in the sand over here instead. This is still for birdie though. I'm going to try overshooting this a little bit. Now, I'm not really sure which shot type to do. You have the flop, the pitch, the normal, and the chip. The chip doesn't go very far. The splash, I think, has higher arc. The flop. That can go pretty far. We don't need that. I'm thinking something like this. Accounting for the 70 to 78% like quality I'll get on this shot. Ooh, I didn't even get all the power. Yeah, that was ugly. But we are going to be uh, going for par from here. Can I get a lucky roll? Ooh. That has a shot, everybody. Yes! Two bunkers still don't bogey. That's what it's all about. Matt, I might have to hang out with you sometime on uh, a call and we'll get me educated a little bit. And then I can take on your sim uh, sliders for this game. So Matt, on your settings, do you like have no HUD and you're like over there holding grass to like judge the wind? Not a bad drive. We avoid the bunker this time. Over 300 yards. I could aim back here with the driver, but you get a much lower shot percentage, so uh, don't drive. Or only drive with the driver. There we go, got a good roll too, that's pretty fast. 
I still can't see the hole though. That's not a good sign. Oh, I'm way over here. But we're putting for eagle. Okay, I've seen tougher, uh, you know, slopes to deal with. We're slightly downhill. So it's just all about how much do we have to look this way. I mean, it's pretty consistent. The slope never lets up. So this is really tough. For eagle. It's looking a little too sharp here. Yep, even more. Still have a good chance to birdie this one. There goes that. Another par. Yep, just gotta toss the club on that one, get a brand new one. Clearly it's faulty. I do like that there's a lot less wind to worry about on this course. Just one mile per hour. This one isn't as bad as the last one. We're still 27 feet out. I'm usually a little bit under, so let's let's go over here. And now I'm a little bit over. Fantastic. Couldn't get the light breeze to put that one in, so another two-inch tap for par. The rule is one foot for every plus one of hill. I wish I understood that. Hole four challenge, what do we got? Fairway and regulation. That could actually be difficult because of this weird tree placement. But I think we'll be okay. I can change cameras, right? Oh, I can. I didn't realize that. I'm gonna be a little too strong. 97 power. Oh my. Please stay on the green, please. What do you think about that one? Now we got a chip for birdie. Not gonna roll too much over here. Let's try this. You can do a little practice swing too if you ever need to. Clicking the right stick. Oh, whoa. My shot went way to the right on that. All right, we'll take another par. Nothing too exciting yet. We've parred every hole. No, I didn't miss the ball. I did a practice swing. If you click on the right stick, the ball disappears and you can just uh, practice, which is more necessary when you have the shot timing on. And perhaps, you know, if they make a change to the shot timing feature, I'll give it another chance. But right now, I just felt like it was kind of uh, weird. Not the best swing there. Are we going to get in the bunker again? Not quite. Good bounce too. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The perfect par golfer. I mean, I'm not doing anything too spectacular. This is like the equivalent of a check down offense right here. Oh man, that was bad. Just safe short throws. Taking that to the, the golf course here. 
another par. Now, when do I get to ride out in one of those? Like, let's do a PGA Tour career where you get your own golf cart and you can upgrade that. I want to get a turbo on there. I want to get like 18 inch wheels on it. That was horrible. I want to actually drive it around the course too, yes. Man, I was not ready for this hole for some reason. Alright, 61% maybe here. Got out of there at least. But if I want to save par, not going to be easy. So where would this land? All right, we're not saving par here. We're going to go uh, at least bogey this one. First of the round. Ooh. I thought maybe that was a little too much. It was almost not enough. All right, seventh. Yeah, let's go with the three. I want to actually reach the green. Wind is picking up just a little bit. Not the best shot there. We veered a little to the right, and I guess it's a little strong. Is that why they recommended the five? That's okay. Yeah, why does it default to the sand wedge here? I'm not in the sand. Pitching wedge. Splash? You could try a splash. I'd have to go under that 60 though. Let's try it. Sometimes you just gotta be creative. Uh oh, we got a hill though. All right, it's to save par, 16 feet. Nope. All right, second bogey. Got to use the putter off the tee box. These games actually matter right now. If I make a course though, I think that would be a lot of fun. The Kane Invitational. Each hole is a completely different experience. I know you can put like alligators around. I, I played around with the first one in the first golf club. And um, I know I've seen some videos on YouTube of some ridiculous courses. Is the course designer in this game pretty good? I have not messed with it yet. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing like the bare minimum at the game right now. I've got to figure out how to improve a couple areas if I want to get to the PGA Tour, I think. I'm not sure what I have to place in this tournament or whatever I'm playing. I'm not even sure if this is uh, a multi-round deal. It says final round. I'm tied for 39th, so I don't think I'm going to be going uh, to the PGA Tour with this performance. Ninety-four percent, not great. We 
have a good shot here. This one isn't too bad. Of course, I went way over power, so let's see if we get a good bounce here. We're going past it. Yep. Maybe if I had the, the right power there. Like, what's interesting about a game like this is, like, the corrections that you have to make to get better are pretty minor, but they're still difficult to pull off. And it'll still take you a long time. We come up with another par. All right. We got one birdie on the front nine. Let's try it again. When you set the difficulty, it also asks how many rounds you want to play. Most courses play three rounds per tournament. You have it on one round. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing three. That's a good call. I didn't think about that. I thought it would kind of be set for me. I didn't really pay attention to that. That way you could get revenge on that one hole. Par thir or the hole 13 at the last one at Louisiana. Get my revenge on that would have been nice. This is a par five now. We have a good shot to birdie this one. I need to take my time here. Really read this one. So we got, you know, left to right here, slope. Shouldn't be a huge problem. We're going into the wind here a little bit. This spot on the grid looks pretty good to me. Of course, I'm strong again. 99 power. That looks good, though. Let's go. Now we gotta sink one of these birdie putts, finally. 12 feet. For birdie. Let's go! Much better. We're gonna be much better here on the back nine. We're going to the top 10. We're getting top 10. We're at 23 right now. Just gotta stack up these birdies. Okay, this one looks like it could be tricky. Because we got a little hill action here. I don't want to be at the bottom of it necessarily. Because I'm going to need two shots to get there anyway. So, I'm actually going to play this one a little bit safer. I don't need to get all of it. I can hit a 200 yard shot to get to the green if I need to. I just don't want this to roll into the rough or whatever. Let's see if my plan worked. Yeah, right before this falls off. Yeah. This is how we get the birdies, alright? This is how we're gonna do it right here. Hoping for a good bounce here. And not overshooting it. Or undershooting it. 81% power? Still gonna land on the green. But, man, imagine if I hit my power on that. That was... The right call. And now I gotta birdie this from 36 feet. We'll give it a shot. No, that's not enough. Let's go all the way over here. It's 36 feet. That's kind of fast. And this one, right past it. <sighs> Those are the shots I got to hit, though, if I want to be top 10. Or I got to get closer. I got to nail every shot before it. So 
CPU looks a little improved from 20 to 21, but not worth 60 bucks. Yeah, I think that the biggest thing that Madden did better is the man coverage is a lot more usable from what I've played. Like, uh, off-man coverage, they'll actually break on some routes and make passes more contested. But, uh, the AI is better, but it's not, like, a lot better. And it's like, even the things they have, they improved, they still have to improve the very things they already improved. Like, there's still more to do with quarterback AI, scrambling, and... Oh, man, that Lamar Jackson clip. I keep replaying that one in my head from my stream last week, where he should have ran for, like, a 70-yard touchdown, but he did not see the wide-open space. You think man coverage is still unusable? I wonder if it plays any differently online. And obviously, uh, the ratings thresholds there are going to be different too. For when you're playing sim stock rosters that's where i've seen man coverage do all right but like in the yard i think man coverage is pretty awful most of the time this is a nice one here we have to sync this for birdie it doesn't get much easier than that one do I always wear the same shirt? No, I have a couple that look like this. They're various shades of white or uh, gray. I like three that are probably mostly identical on stream. It's just what I have that interferes the least usually with my green screen, even though this one decided to do it a little bit today. Otherwise, some of my blue ones that I wear all the time I don't want to mess with the chroma key too much, so I just don't wear them all the time when I want to stream. We got a nice roll here. I like that. 317 yards, roughly. Well, you got to have at least a handful of plain, plain tees like that. Nice. For the days where you just don't want to think about what to wear. Oh boy. Or you're in between washes. Alright, so... Slowing down a little bit again. We're still at minus one. That's tied for 13th. I mean, I, I my goal was top 10. I'm not sure if that means anything. It's just kind of a goal I set for myself for this round. But I'm going to have to get a couple birdies here. Let me look at this one again. That's pretty good. Look like it's slope a little bit here, but nothing too major. We're dead center. All right. Now this green here, I mean, I'm not going to get too many better than this. I got to make the most of that. Take a little bit of power off. Nailed it at 98%. Going a little bit further left than I was hoping for. And actually not close at all. Come on, stop rolling. I really need this one. I know it's only a par, but I really don't want to miss this one. 
Are you kidding me? How? See, whoever invented golf and decided, okay, the cup is going to be this size. They're not very nice. They could have made it, you know, a few millimeters wider in diameter. And it would have fixed a lot of problems for me. Alright. We're going to boost the power again here. This doesn't always work for me. But, uh... I just feel like I need more power for this one. A little bit. 97% here. That looks pretty good. That looks real good. Come on, keep rolling, keep going! Alright. That's like my best approach of the whole round, right there. 13 feet. For birdie. Yes, sir. Where am I now? Minus one. Two to go. We are currently tied for 15th. So if I don't get a birdie on one of these last two, I don't think I'll make my goal of being top 10. 547 feet here. Or yards, you know what I mean. Didn't get all that. All right. Who put these bunkers situated like that? If you get a hole in one, play one of the touchdown songs. Oh, I'd have to. Absolutely. Man, what's the strategy here? I, this is where I need a caddy to just tell me, okay, here's what you're going to do. Do it the best you can. Because I... It's sloping left to right. I don't want to end up in here. I feel like this is the safer spot to aim. I just don't want to end up on the... See, and they, they rounded that off, so it's a little bit tougher to avoid. Like, yeah, nice design, guys. Nice job. I thought golf was supposed to be a nice gentleman's sport. A gentleman didn't design... Uh, a gentleman didn't design this hole, I'll tell you that. We got what I wanted, though. That's pretty good. We like that. No, I'm playing against, uh, like, CPU players. This is the career mode. I don't think there's any online component to it. But there is the ability to play online. I don't think it's cross-play, which I think, like, that's a, an oversight. Because I'm not sure how big the game is going to be on individual platforms. But I think this game overall, if you could combine all the platforms, it'd have a very thriving player base. I think on Switch, I might be, uh, you know, not in the best shape if I want to play online and be able to get into matches regularly and quickly. I'm not sure how many are playing this on Switch, but that's where I want to play it. The fans are on the other versions of the game, like PC and PlayStation. We're on Switch, and um, I'm guessing that would just make it run a little bit worse. They already had to de degrade the textures quite a bit. And um, the visuals aren't as nice on Switch, but it plays good. It plays smooth. I don't have any frame rate issues or anything. Oh, I like that. Nice roll. Let's go. Let's finish strong. And this is what we get right here. That's it. Easy money. Oh, no! Wait a minute. Was that the slope that was, like, at his feet? I didn't think I had to account for that one. Man, that was my chance to go top 10. I'll never be top 10. I got 11th. Oh, I would have been tied for 8th if I made that one. 
Hey, that seems like a pretty good round, though. Got a new item there. Level 8. Sixty-two points. All right, so what happens from there? Did I get to advance to the next one or what? The Sand Dune Classic at TPC Scottsdale. That's a pretty big major course, isn't it? Definitely a cool location. So it is tracking points. So this must be like a season of sorts. And uh, I got to make up some ground here. I'm only going to do one uh, round right now. Especially because I'm streaming. I don't think I want to play the same course three times right now. But um, let's see if I can climb in the standings and build off of that one. Did I ever play Mario Super Sluggers on the Wii? I did not. I played Mario Baseball on the GameCube. Wow. I want that game again. Hmm. How hard is it to find Mario Baseball these days? And please tell me I can find it for under like 130 bucks. Just something obnoxious. Mario Superstar Baseball. I think it's going to be hard to find. Man, I, I hope whatever I traded that in for 15 years ago was worth it. Guarantee it wasn't. There are so many old games I want to recover after all these years. Because I have a GameCube, multiple controllers, a memory card. It's in like the 200s at this point. Are you kidding me? Not bad. I don't know why I say not bad. I haven't seen the ball fly yet. It could be or horrible, but whatever. Yeah, the wind there got the best of me. And now we're rolling. And now we're really long distance. What on earth? I wonder if I could have done that a little bit better. Because some of the default chips they give you are not the most optimal. But I also don't fully understand how to customize those kind of shots the best. So, I usually stick with what they give me. We save par. Yeah, the GameCube had some bangers, man. The GameCube had uh, some awesome games that I just can't believe Nintendo hasn't yet um, remastered. Like, this is the era of remasters, and we're still waiting on, like, a Super Mario Sunshine remake. Summer 2020 would have been a nice time for that. Oh, we have 11 mile per hour wind. I should have paid attention to that. That's serious. So what if I... I'm going to aim over here. And where is this going to land? Thank you, Matt, for the 50 bomb golf. I'm sure you're so excited here that I can uh, talk a little golf with you now. I see you're already deep into the sliders, too. 
thing I like about golf games is they, they get that really hardcore following, and I can always relate to games that have that hardcore following and want the game to be difficult, realistic, and everything that comes with it. I'm waiting for a Pokemon Gen 4 remake. Yeah, I'm really surprised that hasn't happened yet because that generation is well over 10 years old at this point. I also wonder if they'll do another Let's Go game on the Switch. Like, um, the Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu games were excellent. If they did one in the, the Johto region, that'd be great. Even if it wasn't the traditional Johto experience that allowed you to go back to Kanto. Even if they didn't let you do that. The wind is actually going to help me out a bit here. So, I don't want to end up fighting this slope because I'm going to be down here. I need to aim up here and try to let that slope carry me closer. So, we're going to go... I hope that's a good spot to aim. That's going about where I wanted it to. And the roll, picking up speed here. Let's go. Yeah, were the sports games on GameCube pretty good? I didn't, like I had a GameCube, but I always played sports games on my PlayStation 2 for that era. The GameCube was for like Mario Party and uh, um, all the other classic Nintendo stuff. I just eagled that hole, by the way. We're not going to ignore the fact that I played that hole really well. Really happy with that hole. I should retire right there. But we continue on. I'm in fourth place right now. Like, I know Madden on the Wii was certainly different. I don't know if they made any differences for, like, uh... The GameCube era. That was a pretty solid hole. That, I'm following up with one of these. Oh, sure. We avoid the sand, at least. These are the shots where I'm like, the default is just... Why would I want it to land here? Because I'm still going to be stuck with a bad putt. That seems better. I don't know if the wind plays a huge factor here. It's not a, a long shot or a high shot. Hmm. We can live with that one. Ooh. I fell to ninth after that hole. It's no good. Hole 5 challenge. Fairway and regulation. All I gotta do is avoid this then. The bunker. Kinda curve that shot a little bit. Not bad. 320 yards. Pretty slow green here. Problem is, is the pin is just it's right here and I have this wind. Do I want to land here? Do I trust the bounce from over here? I'll try it right here. I know the wind's gonna carry it a bit. Got a little extra juice on that one. 82% and a nice bounce! Oh man! We almost had it there. Ended up actually pretty far away. 22 feet now for birdie. Do we have a shot? Wow. What an inch and a half. There we go, much better. 
This is the perfect stream to have playing in the background while editing a Madden draft class for something with my friends. Absolutely. This game is super relaxing. Like, this game is really, really chill. The music in it is really good. The music you're hearing right now is something I pulled off of YouTube that I thought would fit. Because most of the tracks I already had saved certainly would not fit at all. And the commentary, I think, is solid. The in-game commentary. Right, let's go to my eight here. We have to fight the wind. All right. Ooh, I nailed that one, and then it veers off to the right, of course. Do I like this game better than Madden 21? I mean, so far I've had more fun playing this than Madden 21. I really don't have fun with Madden unless I'm in a franchise. Because at least then the experience can kind of take over. I'm not just relying on gameplay. Like, to me, Madden is not a good game for picking up and playing exhibition games or just, like, random stuff like that. Whereas on most, like... Like this game, for instance, if you just wanted to sit down and play around a round of golf outside of career mode, I think you'd have more fun with that. I think Madden requires incentive because the gameplay on its own is not going to do it for you. I like how that one's ending up. And now we get the nice long roll, hopefully. Could have used even more. Yeah, it's chill unless you use the swing timing, because that's when it gets more aggravating. And uh, like I said before, I, I'm not sure if it's implemented properly or if it's bugged, because that's how it feels when I've been testing it out. And I don't know the difference between very slow and fast is. It seems to be off all right this is a safe par here i like my two under from the eagle i gotta keep it somehow okay i thought i had to account for that a little bit more i guess so there goes a one we fall to minus one now one under par and that puts me in 15th place yeah if they had the CBS presentation in here I know that's really good but we'll see what this game grows into I mean they've been putting out the golf club I think every year now for a few years maybe there was a gap one of the cycles but obviously this will likely become a yearly release game and I love the foundation here and it's one of those things too where it's like the gameplay is so solid they can focus on modes and adding depth to the game so I, I'm excited to see what the game can grow into I think we got a really fun game of golf right now but I I mean 2k has their hands on it now so we'll see what they do Forty-two or no, thirty-seven feet. Something tells me this ain't enough. That ain't looking bad. I think a little more power and that might have gone in. We'll take it. My favorite NFL team, the Minnesota Vikings. Hey, thanks, Jeff. I am having a lot of fun with the game. I got some familiarity with uh, golf games. Not a lot of, like, simulation Tiger Woods ones, though. I've played a lot more Hot Shots than uh, Tiger Woods. Although I think Hot Shots, well, not super... It's not as sim. 
Hot Shots, I think, uh, was more like Super Mega Baseball, where it's pretty close in a lot of ways. In terms of the basic physics and whatnot. This one seems tricky. So we're into the wind. I don't want to be here. I could just try to go over here. And, um... Maybe not get as good of a shot. I just want to avoid that slope. Well, I... Gave it a little extra juice here, and that one is going to go very far away from the the pin here. Still on the green, though. Yeah, there are announcers. I have them turned off. Just because I don't want it to interfere with my gameplay. The announcing is fine. Twenty-five footer for birdie. Hoping that if this misses, it's not too far away. It took a little power off, so it hopefully end up a little bit close, and it did. So we'll save par. <clears throat> no, I don't live in Minnesota anymore. I am from Minnesota, though. Oh no, 84%? Hopefully I get a good roll or something. Probably cost me like 20, 30 yards. Will it matter though? We're 150 away. With a really slow green here. Got some wind to account for. Maybe I need to go a little bit harder on this. Alright, let's get close for birdie here. It's been a while since I was under par on a hole. And I'm not sure that's changing right now. So for birdie. See, we got, again, this weird thing. We're like a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. I think overall I gotta go a little bit this way. But not an easy 20 footer. Now it's got a cut left. Not enough. Just another one where we save par. You guys starting to get excited for the NFL season? It feels more real now that it's going to happen. Been watching baseball every day. A lot. I haven't kept up with the NBA as much. I've been focusing most of my attention on baseball. But it seems like both leagues are doing a really good job. This one's kind of goofy. Of course, screwed up my power. Played it right into this slope, too. I did see the shot by Luca. Yeah, there was no miss in that. I think deeper into the playoffs, I'll probably watch more. But at night, I've been watching baseball every night. Unless it's an Astros game. I, I can't get Astros, I guess. <clears throat> I 
don't know if I'll play anything on MLB The Show this year. We're already getting, like, late in, uh, the time of year for baseball, and, um, I think I'm just not this year. Wow, that was a really, really good shot. That's just going a little too far. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on. I'm just getting no luck here. At least I'm at the point now in the game where I'm like disappointed by a par because I know I could have done better. We're still just one under. I mean, two holes have been not par, for better or worse. I'm just falling behind slowly but surely here. Tied for 17th. Good drive, though. One of my better ones. Ooh, this one's rolling quite a bit, too. That's not going to work for me. We got to get on the green. I kind of like that. Wait a minute. I must not have picked the right shot because we are going into the bunker and I thought we were going way over. What did I do wrong there? I picked the wrong club. Did I have a bad percentage on the hit chance there? Huh. That is not at all what I expected. Flash. On to the green. And yeah, here's going to be the birdie try now. This seems makeable. Twenty four foot. Oh my, I'm just a little bit off on so many of these. Oh, I just gotta go a little bit further on some of these corrections I'm doing. You know, I'll definitely check out some of the NBA Finals. I mean, I love watching the playoffs last year. I'm just more into baseball right now and that's what I'm dedicating a lot of my time to. There we go. Get that good roll. To 300? Almost. Play UFC? I'm not really into the UFC games. Are they good? I haven't played any of EAs. I don't think. Maybe I have a long time ago. That is not where I wanted that to go. The WWE games, I think, have really gone downhill. From what I've seen over the years. So I don't think I'll be playing any of those. I used to love them. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess you were right on the previous uh, iron. That would have been a better idea. Ugh. I don't want to fall the even. But it might be happening again. Ooh, there we go. We stay one under. We like that. We like that. I mean, the SmackDown versus Raw games were awesome. And the, uh, like, SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain is probably my favorite. How many of you ever played uh, ECW Hardcore Revolution on the PS1? Now that's a game. I 
just doing frog splashes with Rob Van Dam. Barbed wire baseball bats and everything else too. I know I had a couple WCW games, but I mean, they folded when I think the games got really popular or they got absorbed by WWE. There's probably a couple Nitro games. I think there was one on, uh, yeah, WCW Monday Night Nitro was on N64. I seem to remember that. Maybe I should aim more to the left. Or See, I gotta get better at knowing which wedge to go to because some of these just don't go anywhere that I expect. I do remember WWF Warzone, yeah. And uh, Attitude, too. Like, there were a lot of wrestling games in that, like, mid-90s, late-90s era. They were so common. They just constantly put them out. Wow, that was close. Um, I didn't really play a lot of NHL, really, ever. I know I've played some games here and there, but I've never gotten deep into it. Maybe this year I'll give it a shot, because I think that with their franchise features, even if I don't know what I'm doing, I would still enjoy it. Alright, gotta recover this one for bogey. The background music is called Whispering Stream from the YouTube Audio Library. So we fall into 31st now. As we get a nice little par 3 here. I think I'll go to my 7 iron. I think one of my main things right now is like club selection. I don't really know what to do. I just kind of follow the marker and sometimes the marker isn't as accurate as I think. And so I trust it too much. Like that I thought would go a lot further. I'm not sure if that's like club or wind select or uh, like the wind that got the best of me there. This is a pretty heavy wind. Come on, we are close to that one. Yes, it goes in. Let's go. We birdied 16. We're minus one. I don't golf in real life, but I think I'd like to get into it sometime. Oh, they're going to replay this one. It was a beautiful putt. 34 feet. So I'm on like uh, the normal settings for the career mode difficulty. I'm playing on master for like overall game difficulty. I just don't have the timing turned on for the swinging because I'd be in the woods all day and four uh, shots to get on the green no matter where I am pretty much. That one looks pretty good. Ooh, I don't want backspin, though. We don't like that. Maybe just a little to the left here, not too much. It is 16 feet, though. I hope this ain't too far. It was. Ah, Could have just kept it simple with that one. Gotten my under two. Disc golf? I've never played disc golf. Alright. Hole 18. Are the Bengals really good in Madden? I think that they're a good franchise team that uh, can develop into being really good with the young players on offense. Um, 
there really wouldn't be a ton to do offensively with them outside of O-line upgrades because you'd be upgrading uh, Mixon if you want to. You'd be upgrading Burrow, Higgins, and you'd have Tyler Boyd who's still young and uh, A.J. Green who isn't young but is still good. Uh-oh, that is not what we wanted here. Decent recovery, though, out of the bunker. I'm trying to close it out with a nice par putt. All right, so I got a little bit of uh, developing to do here. Most of these were just pars. I had two bogeys, a birdie, and an eagle. Had a couple putts there that could have changed the day for me. Again, if I had hit a couple of those putts that were certainly makeable, I'd be top 10. So that's kind of my... Uh, my little uh, bump in the road there, I've got to get over. Tied 21. And I think I was 11th coming into this uh, hole for the whole tournament, or the whole season. So I wonder where I ended up. What's the most difficult time I had with a franchise? Honestly, like year two with the Broncos was maybe one of the toughest seasons I've had with any team in any series. Like, I felt helpless playing with that team. Like, no matter what I did, we were just gonna lose and fail. And that's usually what happened. All right, that brought me into 16th place. Going to uh, end there. I thought that was a pretty good session, though, of PGA Tour. It's a, it's a fun game. I would uh, be willing to play this again. I might uh, chop this up into a video for the second channel. I'm not sure exactly how well it would flow together, but I can give it a shot and put it up there. I hope you all enjoyed uh, the stream today. That was fun. I could see myself continuing that. I think it's a uh, be something different. It's very chill, and it's a great game. <clears throat> Let's check out my statistics after uh, a few rounds here today. I've got a little work to do to fix some of my averages because I played like my first 36 holes on sliders or settings I was not prepared for. One eagle. I don't think this can tr this doesn't include my uh, PGA Tour stats. I don't think, cause I had an eagle today and I had an eagle yesterday, so I don't know if this is actually complete. But yeah, that was pretty sweet. Um. I'm interested in doing a little uh, course designing, too. I uh, haven't tried it out on this game. They have your stats in the career menu. Okay, let me check that out. Oh, yeah, there it is. So I've played two main events, 107 total points, 16 Point four thousand dollar total earnings. No victories yet. No top tens. At least I made the cut a couple times. This is pretty cool. I'm kind of glad this is separate from my uh, other games I was playing. Ninety six percent fairways and regulation. Sixty three percent greens and regulation. I think that sixty three percent is pretty realistic. I want to say like 60 to 70 is like the range for most golfers. Bunker tendency, 3.5%. See, I got to get better at this. My proximity to hole. It, I just got to get a few more makeable putts per round. One putt percentage, 44%. This 
this is really sweet. Records. My rivals, my trophy room. I'm not on the PGA Tour yet. So it seems that there's a lot to do here in this career. I like this uh, little menu too. Shows everybody's numbers here. We gotta go beat Carter Casey sometime. So one top 20. And a long way to go for Tim Kaine. Just gotta clutch up on a few of those holes. So if you'd like to see more of PGA Tour 2K21, let me know. I have not brought golf content to the channel before, but I thought this would be a great game to uh, start out with. And I had a really fun time going through this game and talking with everybody today. So you can leave your thoughts down below and let me know if you'd like to see this once again. That'll do it for me today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the action. I will have uh, a Super Mega Baseball video up today on the second channel. But uh, tomorrow I'll look to get back to like Broncos and get that rolling again. So thank you all. Appreciate uh, all the super chats, all the conversation, everything here. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody.